Z-Radical can help you as well. That has a nice soothing coating effect on the digestive system. Aloe vera, noni juice all have soothing effects. Bone soup, the cartilage in chicken bones is especially soothing for the digestive tract if you don't want to do the bone soup. Or in addition to the bone soup, you can also do glucosamine. The glucogel caps from Longevity can be helpful. Gelatin in general has a nice soothing effect on the digestive tract as long as you're not a vegetarian. Uh, and then uh, glucosamine and essential sugars can also help with digestive health. Uh, laying off of problem foods is always going to be your best bet, though. And uh, focus, on, uh, focus on something getting into your system, as I say, that shouldn't be getting into your system. Mighty 90 is always important, especially if you have a history of heart disease. Vitamin C, the B-complex, and magnesium, as well as selenium are all very cardiovascular, cardiovascular-friendly and cardiovascular heart healthy and heart important nutritional supplements and that's how i'd be focusing last but not least remember the relationship we've talked about this a lot between insulin and i'm sorry I just let you go there uh, matthew i uh, hope you're listening um uh, yeah, there's a very important relationship between insulin and cardiovascular issues keeping your insulin stable down low that means more protein that means less sugar and of course oats and grains and pasta and potatoes and fruit juice they all count as sugar i'm not saying there's nothing good in grains I'm not saying there's nothing good in oats, but you want to keep your intake of these substances low and you want to make sure they're unprocessed. Grains are best done sprouted, by the way. If you really want to get the benefit from grains, use them sprouted. There's not a lot of benefits to using processed grains, uh, uh, processed kinds of flour foods. In fact, there's a lot of negative uh, health implications to using those kinds of foods, and there's not a lot of health benefits, certainly for cardiovascular health. Thanks for your call. I'm sorry I cut you off there. Brian in Texas, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. Thanks for taking my call, man. Sure. What's going on? Big big, uh, big fan of the show. First-time caller. Thank you. You actually got uh, two back-to-back calls from Austin, Texas, man. How about that? I love Austin, uh, man. My home away from home. Yeah, you were just here You were just here a couple weeks ago. I missed it. There was a big an ice storm. And, yeah, I know. Uh, that, that kind of cut into pretty... our tenants. I'll be back, though. I'll be back probably in yeah. June. Great, man. I, I can't wait to meet you. Uh, like I said, a big fan of the show. I love your, I love your delivery. The, the way you present all the information is real simple. Thank you. Uh, and it's, you know, the health is, a, health is supposed to be simple. It, it, it is it, supposed it, to be simple. That's right, yeah. Brian. Thank you. You, you yeah. got it right. If it's complicated, yeah, so, they're probably lying to you. If there's, if it's, it doesn't sound exactly. like it makes sense or you don't understand it, they don't understand it or they're being deceitful. It should be very, very right. simple. How can yeah, we help you, man? I've got, got about two minutes. <laughs> You should be able to spell the stuff that you're taking, you know. So, look, uh, I have several have several topics, Ben. I want to talk a little bit about myself. I want to talk a little bit about my son. My son's a type 1 diabetic. Uh, so in the future when I meet you in person or or, or, or next time I call on the show, you know, we'll talk about I, I'm pretty healthy. I'm 50 years old. I'm I, I, yeah, a big proponent of uh, supplementation, vitamin and minerals. And so but the reason I'm calling today, Ben, is, is I'm kind of concerned. My dad has been... Pretty healthy. My dad, are in the, my dad, my folks are in their early 70s, travel a lot, they're retired. Pretty healthy people. I got them on a good supplement. But I'm worried about my dad taking these statin drugs for his cholesterol. Yeah. And I want you to just, I want you to speak briefly. I'm not going to keep you. I want you to speak briefly, like almost like you're talking to Donald J. His best, my name's, my dad's name's Don. Just, you know, just kind of explain in a nutshell, uh, maybe I'll, some I'll, natural, na- yeah, natural, yeah. Uh, and I know it's a big subject, man. It's a huge subject. I only have about I only have about two minutes, but let me. It, we're, we'll help a lot of people here, Brian, because statin drugs. I think at last I heard is something like one out of every ten or Americans are on a statin drug. Some huge, ridiculous number, and they want even more people to be on a statin drug. There's so many things to say about it, but the first thing I want to tell you, as a pharmacist, as a registered pharmacist who's been studying medicine now for for pushing 30 years. There is no friggin' way a prescription drug can make you healthier, period. End of story. It's a poison. It's a poison. How the heck is a poison supposed to make you healthier? What prescription drugs do is they change markers. They change test scores. In the case of statin drugs, they change a test score, a marker called cholesterol. And supposedly, and I say supposedly with a capital S, by lowering cholesterol, and not even cholesterol, by lowering LDL uh, and raising HDL, you supposedly protect your heart. This is stupidity of the highest degree. First of all, LDL and HDL are not cholesterol, and uh, they're carriers of cholesterol. They themselves are markers. And secondly, cholesterol is a vital 
important, critical, maybe the most important and critical substance in the body for building tissue, for building, uh, for uh, making the brain healthy, for making the nervous system healthy, for keeping the skin healthy, for keeping all of your organs healthy. I cannot tell you how unspeakably vital cholesterol is. And to take a drug that monkeys around with your body's ability to make this substance is utter stupidity. I, it's, there's no words to describe how stupid this is. On top of that, if you have a cholesterol problem, you have a chemistry problem, your cells are cranking out too much cholesterol because they're defective. There's, doing some, there's something wrong with them. They're sick. So what do you do? How do you correct this? Well, number one, the most important reason why cholesterol levels rise, why cells become defective and start cranking too much of this stuff, is because they have been deceived into thinking that we are building. Remember, cholesterol is a building substance. So when you're making too much cholesterol, for some reason, cells are getting the signals they should be building. And these signals are coming, for the most part, from the chemical, the hormone, insulin. This is the number one reason why cholesterol, uh, cholesterol levels get whacked out, elevated insulin. And any diabetic will tell you that, uh, that uh, changes in cholesterol, rate, uh, le- high, uh, increases in cholesterol production are associated with changes in blood sugar, with changes in insulin, so-called dysglycemia. There's a, this is the key link. This is the key component to elevations in cholesterol. And this is where you want to be working, doctors and patients, too. Focus on blood sugar. Focus on insulin. Use more protein. I'm just flat out of time. I apologize, you guys. We'll continue this tomorrow. I'll, I'll, take, I'll start talking about statin drugs, and then we'll continue talking about cysteine tomorrow on the bright side. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye. The state of our drinking water today is worse than at any time in human history. Studies show that most drinking water contains heavy metals, aluminum, chromium-6, agricultural, and industrial toxins. If you get regular headaches, migraines, chronic pain, foggy thinking, fatigue, or nervous system malfunctions, you may have a buildup of these harmful toxins. This week at waterwebinar.com, in an all-new free webinar, Earth's most powerful cleansing secret is being revealed. Use it to neutralize inorganic particles like lead, aluminum, arsenic, and even mercury and remove these accumulated poisons from your body. These toxins accumulate in your body over time and can cause many problems. You can get them out. Go to waterwebinar.com now and sign up for free to find out how to turn even the worst tap water imaginable into pristine water with powerful healing properties. It's your body, your water, your freedom. You have a right to drink pristine, clean water. Come and claim it. Go to waterwebinar.com now. That's waterwebinar.com. Go now and sign up for free. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. 